everybody, it's Nintendo, and welcome back to more Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga! In the last episode, we took down the Chuckalator and saved Queen Bean from the Belly Black Worm. This time, we're gonna be doing some side quests around Bean Bean Castle Town because we rebuilt this place, or we didn't really <laughs> rebuild this place. It got rebuilt while we were gone in the Chuckalock Woods. Anyways, first things first, we want to go into the item shop and see what we can get for some new gear. Alright, so let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can buy. Hot fashions! So, here we have, well, basically, we have things that are new. Things that are new will have an exclamation mark next to them. Things that you already have or have already seen or were able to purchase before, you can get now. Or, you can get still. <laughs> Parasol pants! Um, these are actually color-coded for Mario and Luigi. These, uh, I already explained this before. If it's red and green, it's for both. Red for Mario, green for Luigi. Parasol pants! These will boost your HP but drop your defense. It is kind of worth it because you get more HP, you get a, seven, a plus 7 boost, but you get a uh, minus 4 defense. Not too much of a loss, but it's kind of high. It has a high price because of 15% off only because of our mustache isn't good enough. Heart jeans don't really do anything. They just have a heart-shaped patch on it. That's it. I mean, I wouldn't really buy it because it doesn't really do anything. The hard pants are probably what's worth buying right now. It is probably, it's the second cheapest option, but it has the most effect because it increases your defense and also doesn't really change your other stats. So, because we have so many coins, let's just buy it. And let's just uh, put it on, uh, let's just buy them and not really do anything with them. I'm not going to be buying the work pants, or not the work pants, but the parasol pants or the heart jeans because they're kind of useless. And now flashy badges! We can get um, a bean badge, but, uh, not bean badge. <laughs> we can get a castle badge. This will drop our BP by a lot and barely increase our power. Honestly, not worth it for our stats. A bean B badge. We can increase our power, no uh, dropping in BP. Drop our BP for no reason. And, um, but it increases our counterattack damage, so I guess that might be worth it if you're really into counterattacks. And charity badge. You drop everything, uh, you drop by 6 in BP and you increase your power by 7. I wouldn't really go for it, but the, probably the best one right now is the Bean B badge. I'm going to buy it. Let's not equip it right now, and I'm probably going to do some more badge and uh, uh, fashion rearrangements uh, later. So, that's all I wanted to do here. So, why don't we head outside and actually go to the other side of town. On the other side of town, we got some weirdo guys, we also got this fat guy, and we also got the item shop. It has its own shop now, but we still have this scary lady, so why don't we see what we can buy here? We have 1-Up Mushrooms, revive half HP. We already have 7, I don't think we're going to be needing them anytime soon because we have a lot of HP actually, if we look at our stats. We have a lot of HP, plus we just leveled up, plus we just went and beat a boss, so that means we get everything re uh, restored. So that is pretty helpful. So why don't we go up here, and speaking of the side quests, um, we gotta go find that first guy, so... Yo, 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 bros! You traveling dudes! I am, like, hurting over here in a big, big way, bros. Can't you help a bee now? Sure. Seriously, bros, my little pet beanlets took up. Wait, beanlets up and took off on me, poor little dudelets. If you can catch all five of them for me, I'll totally make it worth your while. You'll be like, score! Beanlets are like tiny and green and stuff. Plus, they're all around. You can't miss them, seriously. The thing is, they ain't, you know, super motivated, so no way those little dudes would have left town. Come on, bros, I know you guys can take care of business. Get your super on! Well, this is Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. We're gonna go do it. So, the first bean, or beanlet, is right here. They are very weird looking. They are not normal. <laughs> they don't look that normal. Anyways, I'm not gonna go straight for them because we still haven't really fully explored this place. So, we're gonna go into here. And we, ooh, we have some super mushroom. Who bean? Syrup. Another who bean? Oh, the island is out, out to sea on the right edge of the map. There's a place where you can learn hand powers. Did you know that? Um. 
Sure. Then how about this? On the bottom right of your map, where all the rocks are, there's a place where the jellyfish sisters. Well, what are you talking about? Yeah, I'll just say yeah. Fine, you're no. Fine, you're no fun, smart guy. All right. So even though we haven't gotten all the beanlets, we've only gotten one out of five of them. Let's go into here. I want to see what stuff's around here. And there's an old man and some dude. Sheesh, for some reason my grandpa's been saying really, really bizarre things lately. Maybe it's because for its age, but he's so loud there's no ignoring him. If I bet you push the L and the horse simultaneously, you both switch to the solo jump icon. I bet that's useful when these little edges after you get up just a third. Actually, I didn't even know that. Wait, does that- hold on, let me just do that. Oh! That actually works! I didn't know that! I- that is so useful instead of keep going like, uh, 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 uh. I just press both of them at the same time and- Wow, I really wish I knew that before. Wow. Alright, let's go in here. This guy looks pretty cool. And... wait a minute. Your board is so- You don't look like that at all! You look super scary! What is wrong with you? What do you want to tell me, man? <laughs> Welcome. Despite appearances, this is most definitely a shop. The product we deal in is information. So would you like some quality information? Only 100 coins! You know what? I mean, we have a lot of coins. Let's just do it. Let's take your coins. South Southeast of town is dear old Woohoo University, the center for laughter research. Everyone says Kekla. They just told us that. Come on, really? You're a ripoff! I will damage your property! Anyways, let's go after those beanlets and... Well... Let's go get out. Let's go get them! Uh, go over here, go over here, and... Something that you probably didn't know, these roofs look really high up. But guess what? You can high jump onto them. Yeah, I didn't know that when I first played this game, so I was like, how do I get on here? There's another way of getting the beanlet though, so... Why don't we go over to here and take these stairs up? I didn't get the beanlet on purpose just because people didn't might not know you can high jump onto there. And then you can just come down from here and you'll land right over here again. You got a beanlet! So we got two of the uh, five beanlets. So, and the rest of them are actually on the other side of town. So why don't we head over there? And by heading over there, I mean let's go all the way over here because this is like not the way we're supposed to go. We go over here, we can whack Mario to become small. And if we tell him to go into here, there's actually a maze for him. So we go around here and we get some stuff around here. Actually, we haven't gotten anything in here. But there is some stuff and I need to uh, figure out the solution to this maze because I am actually lost. That's very sad. This is actually the right way to go. That's very depressing because this maze is not even that hard. Let's go into here and we have nothing, right? Wrong! We have hidden beans! We have five hidden beans, and they're all who beans. Pretty awesome. A lot of people don't know about this because they go in here and like, oh wow, that was totally useless, and they kind of jump around, don't even knowing that, well, there's stuff there, and like, people don't, they aren't really formally, they are formally inter formally introduced to uh, hidden items, but they aren't really, um. Like, they don't really see or they can't really tell where they're gonna be unless they're really straight up. And speaking of straight up, I forgot to go into here. Here we have our pipe again. As you know from our map, we have many pipes actually. So why don't we go into this red one? Come out of this other red one. Go into this red one. We have this bullet bill who is missing his face. Welcome to the Pipe House! I'm here to teach you everything you want to know about pipes! Want to know about pipes? Sure. Which do you want to ask about? Um, let's talk about... Yellow pipes. Yellow pipes are for travel between the seafloor and the surface between up and below ground. There are lots in ocean and desert areas, so when you're in those regions, jump into the yellow pipes! Can I stop there? Yes, you can stop there. See you later, boy! He didn't even say what. Study a little. <laughs> study a little on your own. I guess good thing we're going to the Hoo 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 University. Anyways, going to this green pipe, and we have gotten another pipe. Green. Uh, another pipe. Green. Another green pipe. We have Castle Town. We got Stardust Fields, and we have a uh, Castle Area South. So why don't we just head back into Castle Town? Because we're just gonna end up right back here, and we can finally go to the West Side and get those 
three other beanlets that were missing. Going over here back on the west side, there is one that is just plain annoying. I will get to that one last because that is one that had me just straight up troubled for the entire time. We got another beanlet right there, so that's not that hard. And we have another one on top of this roof. There is one more, and it is plain annoying. I cannot believe they did this. The Game Boy's graphic capabilities weren't great. It was a, not really a time where you could tell things had like, like you can go behind them and whatnot. You could go behind this tree, yeah. And if you go up here, oh, not here, oh, pfft, not up here, but you go to the left, you could see it in the corner. It was in the corner and you could see like a few pixels of it, which is just plain annoying. A lot of people, including me, that I know had so much trouble trying to do this and it was just so brutal for me. I was like, how am I supposed to find this thing? Where is it? I don't know where it is. And it was just, wow, I couldn't even figure it out. But anyways, we got all the beanlets. We can even check that in our items. Uh, where are you? Beanlet, bean, wait, beanlet, 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 beanlet. All right, we got five beanlets. Go back to that cool guy who's always in the sweat jacket. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Come back. Stop walking away. Yo, my poor little beanlet buddies, you got them all back for me. Yo, many thanks, bro. I'm practically crying. I'm so relieved this doodlets are safe. Anyway, right on, bros. Here's the reward I promised you. We get a golden mushroom. A golden mushroom, so let's go down here. We have not run into these before. We maximize our HP and bros points. These sell for a lot in the store. If you sell them, I don't think they're worth that much. But, you know, I don't wouldn't recommend selling them because you don't know when you'll need them. And they're just pretty cool. You get that for free just for finding five weird mustache things that just sit around. Let's talk to this guy. Um, excuse me, guys, this is kind of a dumb question, but, um, you know when you jump on the other guy? Well, what if, th just then, when the other guy was about to get, you know, jumped on, what if he moved out of the way in the last second, and what would you happen? What, don't you ever wonder? Not that I need an answer, I would just spend too much time thinking about it or anything. Well, buddy, I can't really move out of the way for you, but I can do something that might please your, um, interests. Whacking Luigi's balls! And let's get a front view right here. Wait. Boing, boing, he's definitely grabbing the junk. Alright. Uh, he's smiling at that. You like that, buddy? Well, I just lost a lot of HP for my wealth. So, I lost a lot of coins because of that useless guy who just sold me no information. Which was totally useless. I just wanted to show it off. And we went from 712 coins to uh, 453, but I don't really care because we don't even need that many coins in this game anyway. We always get a lot from battles and every other thing that we can do. We can always go back to our favorite game, Border Jump, and play that and get more coins from that. But anyways, time to go on to our next side quest. Well, there's a mushroom in this house. Alright. I finally found him because, uh, I don't know why I didn't find him before. He was, like, literally telling me this before. I am perhaps this town's greatest intellect. At present, it is the ancient soybean civilization that has captured my focus and attention. We'd like to hear my report on the great civilization of your... Yeah, sure. The ancient soybean civilization. The age of flying spin beans, tunneling mole beans, and fast-moving dash beans. Yes, all evidence points to this advanced bean bean civilization once gracing this land. It doesn't even say bean bean, but I had to put it in. And as far as for the whereabouts of the bean stones, the heretofore hidden treasures of the soybeans, to have perhaps stumbled across some astounding facts related to this matter. I theorize this, that perhaps the bean stones were indeed buried and still rest beneath this very town. I desire so greatly to take this town down to its foundations, and, I, and even deeper if I must. Yet how am I even to guess where to begin digging, where the mind recoils at the thought? I ask you this, how happy would I be if you, if the two of you were to dig up these artifacts for me? Quite happy indeed, of course I could perhaps reward you. Can you find the jewels of Soybean Civilizations, the bean stones? Of course we can. Fanci fantastinating. That is terrible, I cannot read. Fascinating. 
You are bold specimens. I theorize that there are actually ten bean stones waiting to be unearthed. Yes, indeed. If you cover ten for me, he will reward us, and we can go and start right away. So, the first one is, well, on this side of town. There are actually five on each side of town, and they're actually pretty easy to locate. So, let's get started. Got the first one. Now get ready for a bunch of, well, cuts for them. That covers it for the west side of town. Time to go to the east. First one on the east side. And got the last one. As you can see now that we have, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bean stones, and the bean bean map. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead back to that old man who really wants to know about these bean stones. And we're already back here because we're so close by. Oh! You have found all ten of the bizarre bean sparkling bean stones. With this evidence, I can at last announce my hypothesis. Perhaps, perhaps I should reward you uh, for your endeavors. I believe that you will accept as a reward. I promised you. What did we get? A bros rack. All right. So let's see what the effects on that actually will be, because we just got a bunch of new ones. Bros. Ra oh, ho! whoa! Wow. This is gonna be so helpful. Oh, wow. Especially for Luigi, because, you know, Luigi, you're the one who deserves it. You're the one who went underground for everything. Mario, uh, let's see what I can give you. Uh, probably I'm going to give you the Bean Bee badge. Yeah, so, uh-oh, wait. Uh, let me check your equipment. Let me see what you guys can wear. Uh, Luigi can't wear anything, so. Uh, poor Mario, he can only pick, or not poor Mario, poor Luigi. He, he got the badge, though. He got the cool badge. We got the rock. And Mario gets some hard pants, which don't really sound that comfortable. But anyways, after all that, we finally can finish the side quests in Bean Bean Castle Town. Next time on Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, we're going to be going to Woohoo University, chasing after Kekleta and the stolen Bean Star. See you guys then!